Stellar Blade comes out pretty soon. I know a lot of you are probably looking forward to this game. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to play it. I hope it's a really good game. And it's going to be fun to go through the reviews when it comes out because I guarantee you just about every review from a lot of the mainstream sites like IGN and GameSpot and so on and so on, I bet you they're going to have like a blurb saying, we understand that this game focuses on things like the male gaze. So we just wanted to let you know, and I bet you they mark down points in the review because of how she looks. That's what's going to be funny about it. Now, another thing that I noticed, uh, you can't even get pre-orders in some countries anymore. Stellar Blade has managed to accomplish one feat Helldivers 2 never could. Uh, a little bit of a clickbait title there, but that's fine. Uh, what they're talking about is that at least in Germany, the physical edition, just the standard physical edition, is sold out. You can't even pre-order it. Well, you can pre-order it, but you have to wait. You won't get it day one. And I'm going to just guess that you're probably going to have a hard time finding a physical copy of this. You'll be able to get the digital download, no problem. But I think there's going to be a lot of demand for this game. It's going to be fun to see how it all plays out and to see people get up in arms about it and mad because, well, the male gaze is back. Well, it's already starting. Here's an article from Inverse, another site that I'm sure is going to go out of business pretty soon. Uh, no coincidence that this article came out five hours ago. Uh, you're going to see a lot more of these articles come out as time draws on. But just look at the title. Stellar Blade and the Male Gaze. Attractive to who? What do they mean by that? We're not going to go through this entire article because it just talks about a lot of stuff that we already know. This is kind of a catch-up article. But what I found funny about this article is that it focuses directly on the male gaze. And they're mad. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. That shift up the studio that made this game are assuming the gender and sexuality of people that are going to buy it. Uh, they once again lean into the idea that 50% of all gamers are women. And look, I'm not saying women don't play games. I know quite a few people that are women and play games, especially in the communities that we're all in, like the Fellowship 199. Rip averse stuff. Like I see a lot of women that are nerds and geeks and are into all this stuff. But this data that a lot of these uh, academics like to flaunt is false. Okay, my wife plays video games. You know what game she plays? Like these jewel gem games. Candy, not Candy Crush, but it's like some game where she hits gems on her phone. Uh, she'll be the first to tell you she's not a gamer. <laughs> She plays a cell phone game. She's not going to buy this game. She doesn't want to play this game. There's a lot of games she doesn't want to play. And trying to say that the people playing, that the women that are playing these, like, bejeweled games on their phones have any interest in a game like this is laughable. But a lot of these companies have been trying to use that data to assume that they need to change everything. That's part of the reason why you're seeing all these ugly characters in these mainstream games, like the uh, Star Wars Outlaws character that looks like she's come some kind of uh, Mr. Spock with Down Syndrome. Uh, that's one of the reasons why you're seeing that, even though women want to see sexy characters too. Uh, that's what's funny about all of this. We've literally had an IGN editor say that Eve from this game is going to kill people, which is wild. It almost kind of reminds me of the Hogwarts Legacy stuff, just not as intense. The Hogwarts Legacy controversy was at a whole new level. Just listen to this. The, a whole bunch of shit about male gays here, but here's where they're mad about the game company assuming gender. So Denny is a doctor of television studies at the University of Warwick. That's who they're talking about here. Denny points out 
that this is textbook male gaze. Attractive to who? Asked Denny. To what gender? To what sexuality? What nationality? A lot in that choice is assuming a lot of about thing a lot of things about who the developers think the player is going to be. Uh, they're assuming correctly that the majority of people buying this game are going to be men, straight men, <laughs> maybe even some gay men. They, they like to appreciate good looking things too. And you know, I think here's who this game is for. It's for people that want to play a souls like game. That's what this is, and it's just giving you an attractive woman. Are there people that are going to buy the game just because of what's going on with it and how she looks? Absolutely. Uh, but I think that this game is just giving people what they want. That's what this game is. It's just giving people what they want, and it's appealing to a large group of gamers that have been almost – in a way, shunned. I mean, look at the way people are acting about that Laura Croft and stuff. They're literally, like, telling people to go to hell. It's wild. Wild. You've seen it with that Star Wars games, too. That Star Wars game, too. A lot of people in the games industry responding to that are telling a lot of gamers to go to hell and, and leave their their market, which is wild to me. Especially in the day of AAA gaming where this shit is super expensive and you need everybody that you possibly can to come and buy your game. So I expect a lot of this to pick up as we get closer. Let's listen to this some. While Eve's body was made from a scan of Shin's face, uh, while Eve's body has been made from a scan of Shin, that's the woman's body that you saw when they have the body type and the motion capture thing, her face was made in-house. Okay. They're basically saying that they didn't want her as a performer. They just wanted her from the neck down, which uh, then they say, that's very much a statement of the parts of this woman that are of value. <laughs> then they start talking about Game Game 2 and saying that she has no personality. Uh, she doesn't flip her ponytail when she just stands there. You know how when you have a character just stand and sometimes they'll – like Sonic the Hedgehog, for example, like he would start like wagging his finger at you or tapping his foot because he's impatient. That's what they're talking about right there. Like she doesn't do anything. That could have just been for the demo. Uh, but most people, I don't know, pause the game. It's a wild idea, I, I know, but it's just wild. They're complaining about how, how she goes up on a ladder, all kinds of shit. It's just wild. Expect this to pick up. I promise. And at the end of the article, they literally complain about the game appealing to men. Saying, you're turning down a lot of money by not making her fat and ugly. You're turning down a lot of money. <laughs> oh, boy. I love this, man. I can't wait for this game to come out. I'm excited. I'm excited for the reviews. I'm excited for the response, the meltdowns. You're going to see it, man, and it's going to be hilarious. And you know what's even better is that it's going to skyrocket this game to even more sales. You're going to see this game is going to make a lot of money. I guarantee you it does. And they, that's why they don't like that. They don't like that this game is going to make money, basically just giving male gamers what they want. And it sets a precedent, and it – Makes games like Star Wars Outlaws look bad. And they don't want that. They don't want that. They don't want a company to make money off of a game like this. Because then, when another company does it and ignores all of the people bitching about it, like from Kotaku. They mentioned that journalist from Kotaku in this article, by the way. Uh, when they do that, uh, it's going to cause a little bit of a controversy. Because, well... It shows you, once again, that ignoring all of these people that just whine and bitch about what characters look like uh, pays off, and they don't like that. They want to be the gatekeepers of the medium. They want to take it over, and they don't want you getting what you want. They want you to get what they want. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description.
It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.